Hi, this is Paul Rosco with the Oak Morgan News Network, and I have the privilege of being able to talk to a real hometown hero, Mr. Melvin Morris, Sergeant First Class. Welcome to Oak Morgan. Back to Oak Morgan. Uh, thank you. Melvin, well, you joined the Army in 1959. April 1959. What did you do in the Army at that time? What was your choice? Well, I joined the Army in 1959, 45th Infantry Division, Oak National Guard. Sneaky Peaks and Snake Eaters. And I, we just had returned from Panama. And uh, the jungle, kind of like the jungle. So I heard about the Snake Eaters and the uh, Sneaky Peaks. So I volunteered. I didn't know nothing about what they did. And uh, never knowing I got accepted. You see, a lot of people don't realize when I went to the I was 19 years old. I weighed 118 pounds, still growing, and I was five foot uh, four, <laughs> believe it or not. And, uh, you were one of the original Green Berets then? I received the Green Beret uh, when John F. Kennedy presented to us in October 1961. So you got a chance to meet President Kennedy also? We didn't get a chance to meet him. We, had, like, we saw him from a distance, uh -huh. security. But today I still have that Green Beret. Yeah, well, 1969. When you were in Vietnam, how was it? Yeah. You were compared to here. Very, it was very hot and very humid, and and water was your lifeline. Yeah, you didn't dare run out of water. Water tablets. We had water tablets. Uh, we had to uh, always face the risk of ma malaria, and uh, the bad one fell sickness malaria. Uh, we had to worry about snakes, uh, very poisonous snakes. I heard there were a lot of snakes, even tigers had to worry about there too. Yeah, uh, we had tigers. Uh, uh, it, it was a lot besides, you know, the combat, yeah. How about the land leeches? The public land leeches? I don't like leeches today. <laughs> And leeches, leeches all over my body. Did you ever see Bob Hope? I didn't, I didn't uh, see Bob Hope. Uh, in fact, I only made one entertainment uh, function. Function out of the two years I was in Denver. So, uh, as a sergeant of first, uh, first class, uh, that's the highest rank you can go as an enlisted man, right? No, no, no. I'm uh, the highest rank command sergeant major. Yes, yeah, but uh, I didn't make that rank because I was good. <laughs> uh, do you miss eating sea rations? Do you uh, what's it called? Larps? Well, see, in Vietnam, we, uh, we didn't have larps. Uh, we, uh, the second year that we had uh, what I call, they call PIR. It wasn't uh, alert rations. Uh, when I went there, we had sea rations. You remember the sea rations? Sea rations, oh yes. Yes. Being a Navy, we had hot food. Yeah. <laughs> you were in the Master's uh, Parachute Dispatch. What, is, what do you have to do on that? Is there a lot of special training people? Oh yeah, you had a lot of jumps. Uh, you have to qualify with over 100 jumps to be a uh, Master's Parachute. And you have to meet certain requirements. Now, I taught at Avalon School, and I uh, taught Jump Master School, and that was in Panama. What were your feelings when the President of the United States presented that award? What were you feeling at that time when he presented you this award right here? Well, you, you stay in disbelief, you know, and the 
you, 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 your mind kind of numb out. You, you just let it happen. And you, you sit there the whole time believing it's not happening. But it's happening. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to see. It's not one of joy. It's not one of happiness. It's just, I guess, uh, the stoic. Yeah. What's your feelings uh, about the people that didn't receive awards that were due them? Uh, my people, and I, I've spoken out for them that they uh, started this process. They need to continue. Uh, there are so many records that need to be looked at. There are so many people that were looked over for various reasons, which is not uh, right. And there are many more records. And we all understand they only meant for half of And uh, people don't earn, earn uh, declarations. They uh, awarded them for what they do. And, uh, you know, and that's the military men, they want them if they earn them. And if they're passed over, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's terrible. Slap in the face. Slap in the face. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Continued good luck, and thank you for coming to it. Thank you. Thank you. And this is Paul Ross with the Okamogi News Network, and uh, look for us later. We have a special report coming from uh, when uh, Melvin spoke here to the Lions, so look for that, that special report. Thank you.